had a great guy at the camp, very explosive, 52 years old, and his name was Sean. I watched Sean swing compared to uh, Matt Brady's top TPS pro. Sean had played at a high level when he was younger, took off to raise his uh, sons, and then came back here, and all of a sudden has no power. He used to have pretty consistent power. And so we watch his hips here, watch his hips on the swing. Looks good, looks explosive, good rotation. He ends. He's a, he's a big enough guy and explosive enough. He should have good power. There's Matt Brady, somewhat similar, you know, you know, very comparable. Let's look at the upper body here now. And here's where the upper body changes totally. Sean's got a golfing undersnap, and Matt Brady drives the knob, and he snaps through, all the way through with oversnap. By that, I mean the barrel of the bat shoots by the hands. Watch Sean's knob come up, and then the top arm just stays jammed. See, it still doesn't extend doesn't extend, it doesn't snap, it doesn't drive the top hand past the bottom. Watch Matt Brady's top arm, it'll drive the top hand past the bottom. The wrist flex sideways, x style, but you also need the extension of the top arm to drive it by. Knob comes up, watch here, the knob comes up. We need a cleaner path to the ball too, but we does, really, you could get away with that, you just aren't getting a good snap, not a good extension, with the top arm dies right on the volume field. Watch how that Knob is going to where the ball is going to be. He lets it drop down. He's aiming for where the ball is going to be, or the point of contact, we call it. Should never really say that we're aiming at the ball, but you can watch his bat path. His hands come up, the bat head goes down, and then it never really does snap past. See that? When you have under snap like that, the ref, left wrist flexes and it doesn't get past. Then watch Brady's. The yellow will be there where the hand pivot point is. And watch the green. That's your bat path. Watch how fast that snaps through. It ends up all the way through on a straight line. So there's a lot more speed, a lot more whip than Sean's getting on. And every swing, Sean looks the same here. It wasn't like you had some good ones and some bad ones. Look how that top arm doesn't extend. Watch Brady's extend. He comes around the top arm, the t wrist snap, and the top arm extends as you snap. Everything else on the swing looks phenomenal. I mean, it looks like you should be hitting in the, um, in the 90s. Look at Blackburn. There's oversnap. The bat head, watch the bat head flip over the top of the hands. You drive the knob when you snap, the bat head flips over the top of the hands. Watch yours. The bat head's always underneath. Here's a ball that you should have really killed, but watch right here. Watch the extension of the top arm and the snap. You're driving at the bottom. That's good. Look at the top arm. doesn't extend. In fact, you actually push yourselves back, push yourself backwards. Uh, you know, look at, watch here. Watch the top arm. doesn't extend. You're not driving and extending through. You actually lean backwards and the, and the arms don't extend and don't drive. Rotation's not great, but look at the, the top arm still is not extended way after impact. Look at Blackburn's arms. He's driving, he's coming ahead. There's a rotation that's driving the stab and the snap of the swing. The stab and the knob within the rotation forward. You can see here, watch your top arm here. I said throw that along the rope, look at it. Your top arm doesn't even want to throw there, so it's something apparently very foreign to you. And then the hand path here is way up. And there's the top arm again. Watch the extension of the top arm. It just follows and drags around. So certainly a, a lot of work to be done. And um, uh, here's a perfect snap. And look at here. It's, it's, just not, it's just not done correctly. It's supposed to be rotation, stab, and snap. Look at You just get here and you just wrist it. You wrist it way past impact. You should be making impact about right there. But you stop. You know, that's where you should be stopping. Now here's a Lewis Glidewell, very very talented, you know, class A or B player, and here's uh, Frank Henry. Watch these two swings, and I want to show you how the perfect snap works. How you can watch the rotation, the stab and snap. But here's your rotation, good rotation, but there's no stab, and the extension comes late. Watch his rotation, lead arm stabs, and watch the top arm extend and snap. Watch the rotation, stab, and then the, there's there's the X snap. Watch your rotation. Arms don't extend, and then they just push out away from the body right there. Totally different. That's what you're missing. That's what you have to drill and get right. Right here, you, you know, again, you just, you're just kind of extending. Now, look at here. Here's rotation on one of the fellow campers, Nelly. Rotation, stab, and snap. You should be ending up right there. But you just don't get the concept of that very good. And watch when you swing here. Look at, you know, you know you're just pushing the arms out ahead of you, and your top arm still isn't extended, and you lean in the head. There's not much rotation. Now here, this, this is one time that you had during the camp where I put the low ball. Look at, watch your, your your left arm rotate, stab, and snap. Watch the left arm rotate, stab, and look at the top arm extension and snap. 
Watch when he finishes it. Rotate. Watch the lead arm comes off the chest to stab. And then watch both wrists, top arm extension. Look how the top arm extends all the way through. That's one of the few times I saw it. That was phenomenal. You know, nice line drive off a knee high pitch. But when we come around here for this pitch here, rotate, stab. Look at the top arm. You're absolutely missing it. It's still, it's still bent. You're missing it because that would push the bat forward outside the rotation a little bit more and keep on playing to the ball, see, like Frank Henry does. That's the critical part here. I'm just going to show some swings here, and every one of them is about the same. Rotation, stab, but then there's no top arm extension. Watch your, your, your wrist snap and your top arm, how your top arm stays bent, bent, bent. Still bent there. Watch Blackburn with a good swing. Rotation, stab the lead arm, snap the wrist, and continue to extend the top arm as it comes all the way around. Again, rotation is the dominant force. The lead arm comes out good, but only your top arm. You, you still haven't snapped or stabbed through. Look here. Watch how that, that top arm doesn't bend. You don't snap the bat head past your hands. So that's about as far as I can take you. Look at these swings. Rotation, stab, and snap. Again here. Rotation looks good. Does the lead arm come off the chest and stab within the rotation? Yep. But look at there's just no snap in that top arm, your right arm. That does not extend and snap. Right there, you see it bent again. So that's what you really need to work on is just work on those drills and the perfect snap over and over. Uh, here's a guy that I worked on today. Here's your rotation. That front shoulder is going to drive back. Then I say, pick a spot on the ground, and what's the hardest way you can hit it? Well, you'd lead with the knob, and you'd extend your top hand. Now, find a, a target that's in the right path of uh, a good point of impact right there. Rotation, stab, and snap. That's pretty good. Rotation, stab, and snap. Look how different that is from yours. Your top arm is getting extended. He's snapping the wrist together. He's getting to a good point of contact. And look at all the knuckles that lined up. So, even on the live swings here at the end, you know, I'm not going to try to glorify anything for you here because um, these swings here look like you should really kill these balls, but you didn't hit any out. You had good exit speed, but every every ball you hit had a flaw where you're not getting extended. Watch here. Looks like you should just kill this rotation stab. Watch your top arm. doesn't extend. And the bat just dies underneath it. Watch on mine. Rotation stab. Look how the bat head, the top arm punches the bat head through. Rotation. Stab of the lead arm in the rotation, then extend. Top arm doesn't extend. Again, same thing on my rotation. Stab with the top arm extend and punch the bat through on a level plane. So, a lot of work to do on that perfect snap, but I hope this gave you the ability to see what you're doing wrong. And uh, if you work on it, do 150 of those perfect snaps today and change your mental focus. I think great things are ahead for you, and you can recoup that power you had as a young guy. You're still young, man. You're only 52.